what's up guys welcome back to another video today's video is about letting go of your past and moving into the future man so many people uh, we all human beings were designed to want more to desire more to want more money a better relationship improve our business go and travel do these things right live life and what I'm learning is in order to do that, what is required of us is to move into a new version of ourselves. Now, what do I mean by that? I did a episode on this maybe a month ago or something similarly as a result of the book I'm reading, Psycho Cybernetics by uh, Maxwell Maltz. And basically it's about forming a new identity that's congruent with what you want for the future. So I bring this video up and this topic because I'm currently experiencing this. Uh, I've been on such a tear and a positive um, trend in momentum in my business and my you know personal life and self-improvement and all these things and this week I really fell off and what I mean fell off is I went back to old patterns and old ways that really didn't serve me and in transparency um, God when I was younger I used to smoke so much weed and it was just I realized now it was a way for me to dis disassociate and become comfortable with my situation and escape my reality which was so painful so I've noticed that now at this point in my growth with my business myself is if I ever have any old habits or urges to do that what's happening is I'm in an uncomfortable place that might feel unsafe and smoking is almost a way for me to return to the past in order to feel comfortable and in my little cocoon dissociate from the um, discomfort that I'm experiencing. But the funny thing is, or the reality is, the discomfort I've been experiencing is nothing but beautiful, positive growth. It's just uncomfortable because it's new, it's different. So, uh, you know, I'm reconciling and forgiving myself and not being hard on myself as I fell off this week because man I was in such a good place and so just powerful creative wanting and motivated and all these things and I I guess I what I'm realizing now is I felt overwhelmed so that feeling of overwhelm basically going into the new version of me this new life of this abundance of success all these things that I'm creating and experiencing was uncomfortable for me so instead of embracing it and doubling down and allowing that feeling of discomfort to crystallize and become a new level of myself I defaulted back and I went and I smoked for the first time in, I don't know, maybe a couple of months or something. And it was like, just very uncharacteristic. Maybe if I've done it in the past, when I have felt like it, I'll do it like on a Friday night or Saturday. I won't have anything to do. So just sitting around, I'm just chilling. It's not a big deal, but it really screwed my work week this week. And I just really fell off with content creation, with uh, out, reaching out and with doing um, calls for my business. and. Um, even just some of the programming and normal stuff that I love doing, I just my motivation was sapped. But it wasn't that my motivation was sapped. It was basically again I got triggered and was uncomfortable. I did an act that gave me comfort in the past, and it defaulted me back into an old version of myself. Now uh, I realized this coming out of it in reflection because even when I was smoking, I was sitting there for like a day, not doing a whole lot. I'm like, fuck, this feels terrible. I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't like this. I'm not motivated. I'm not like, I don't have this same like happiness and fulfillment for life. Um, and, and this energy to go in and attack and create and do these things that I want to do. It was like, you know, I was just sitting there like this lifeless corpse, like watching my life go by. And it really was this old version of me. But uh, in contrast, I realized that it needed to happen so that as I move forward into this new journey, I was really, I, I was really feeling, I guess, just uh, kind of beating myself up, but more just reflective, like, huh, this is like curious, like, damn, this is interesting. Why did I do this? Why am I doing this? I'm not enjoying any of this. I didn't want to do it. It's such a waste of time and money and energy. And I really feel like it didn't just set me back like a week. I feel like it set me back like years because I was like teleported back to an old version of myself. It was wild. But again, I realized this came up so that I could explore the contrast and feel the difference between what it feels like as far as the old version of me goes and how much better the new version of me feels like. And I also realized that I did this consciously or subconsciously to kind of like ingrain this final lesson. Like you don't want to do this, man, that every time you're really you're feeling uncomfortable or that you've been grinding so hard and you're like, oh, I'm just going to smoke. Just relax a little bit. That's just a way for me to go back into the old version of myself. So again, the topic of this video, moving into the new version of yourself, moving into the next version of your life, it requires a whole new way of being. It requires you 
letting go of old people, old connections, old habits, old ways of thinking, it requires completely severing ties and killing the old version of you. Literally, you have to kill the old version of yourself. So if you're getting in shape, the old, chunky, out of shape, hard to breathe, doesn't like how he or she looks in the mirror version of you, that guy or girl's gotta die, man. They gotta go, and you gotta step into what you want now and what that feels like and embrace it wholeheartedly. And what has been coming up for me as I've been reflecting uh, over these past, probably about this past day and a half deeply, especially yesterday, really letting go, is like, what the hell's going on? And what I realized was that um, moving into this new version and severing old connections and ties and behaviors and stuff, it's tough. It's that saying, old habits die hard. Um, it will come back. But at some point, you've just got to make a decision and commit of what you want in your life and what you, and then come to terms with, and this is what I'm doing in real time with you on the camera, come to terms with what you've got to let go of. And if I have to choose between, you know, having a day off where I'm just in this like stone stupor and just like, you know, eating food and just in this like place of comfort, I don't like that anymore. I don't like that. I don't want that, man. If I'm choosing between that or moving into a place where I'm fulfilled in my purpose and my day-to-day -day activities, I'm positively impacting other people's lives. I'm creating this life of abundance and really helping people on their journey as a result of me just sharing what I'm passionate about. Man, that's a million times better. That's what I want. That's what I'm moving towards. That's what I'm building. So I have to let go of that old version. So. Um, I think the turn the what's challenging is for me is that I'm also realizing like yeah the I've, I've changed friend groups a million times like I can make friends very easily and I can make connections very easily and I've always been that way um, but holding on to them and really developing them over time has been my challenge right and so I've, in the past I've kind of been like why is it like that you know my bad relationships no the answer is no what I'm coming to terms with is that the reason I've grown so much and changed so much in my life is because my ability to let go of old people, connections, uh, relationships that don't serve me uh, and not guilting myself for it, realizing that, dude, I'm moving and I'm growing in a direction very rapidly in a very powerful um, way and I know other people can sense it and more importantly, I just, I know and I can sense it. And um, I just have to be willing to let go of people, man. Whether it's clients that have only worked with me for a couple of months, I have to realize like I'm growing and changing so much. If they're not on the same trajectory, they're not gonna resonate with my program and what I'm doing. And that's totally fine. It's the same thing in my personal relationships, right? Even with uh, my best friend, um, you know, who lives down in San Diego now and all these different things like, I'm not, he's he's in the lifestyle, he's working a nine to five job and then, you know, they'll go out and they'll party on weekends or like waiting to go to events or concerts on weekends and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm not bashing any of this shit. Um, I love it, I still love doing it. But what I realize is like, when I go and do stuff like that, it's not just me going out on a Saturday and a Saturday night, then it's me sitting around all day recovering, chilling out on a Sunday, not being as, or even if I don't and I stay sober, right? Um, it's, it's me still feeling drained like I'm off my balance and my focus on not being as productive on Sunday and then that carries over into Monday and now what I'm realizing now is my impact as a leader and my ability to coach um, it's watered down because I'm not living the truth I'm not leading the way and really that's what training coaching is it's an energetic exchange you're working with someone who has elevated themselves on a level in an area of your life that you want to be elevated on so you're working with them so in order for them to elevate you they've got to be elevated themselves the only way they can be elevated themselves is if they're living what they're teaching and practicing and preaching that's why you signed on with them because you're trying to get to that level of where they're at uh, in that particular field you know so when people sign on to me they're like man you look great i'm trying to get my body right like that how do i do that well i'm i'm on an elevated place with my fitness and my nutrition so i can coach people on that level when i sign on with someone I'm not going to hire someone that has a business that's less than mine. I'm trying to hire someone that has a business way beyond mine that's grown levels beyond mine so I can learn. Um, so again, bringing it back to the theme, I'm talking about all this because it's about moving on to the next level of yourself and what you have to be willing to let go of and get rid of in your life. People, connections, relationships, habits, beliefs, um, patterns, uh, just ways of thinking, all these things. You have to let go of all that shit in order to move into a new version of you for what serves you, for what you want moving forward. 
Um, and that's really what it's about. So it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable because I realized that the biggest uncomfortable part of it about it is the fear of unknown, right? We're moving into this whole new space and this whole new life that we don't know what it's going to be like because we don't know what we're going to be like. But in the end, although that's uncomfortable, that's the exciting part because that's where the growth is. That's where all the new and awesome opportunities that you want that have never experienced also reside. Uh, so the message for you today is be willing to let go of what no longer serves you, whether it's people, situations, a job, relationships, uh, beliefs, um, old habits, sleeping in, uh, you know, staying out late night drinking every night, all these shit, whatever the old behaviors, patterns, ways of thinking are that don't serve you, that are moving, uh, that are preventing you or not supporting you from moving towards what you want, that shit gotta go, man. And then the other part is, um, the lesson that I'm learning, another reason this video is coming up today is you've got to wholeheartedly embrace the new version of yourself and approach it with excitement and something that you want to do and you're excited to. And I am. And that's why I guess it was so tough this time because I was sitting there smoking and I was high and I was sitting around. I was like, fuck, man. I was like, I don't want to do this. I was like, this doesn't make me feel good. You know what makes me feel good? Going to a coffee shop and reading right now and studying and learning and getting better so that I can be better for my clients, so I can be better for myself, so my business can be growing. That's infinitely more fun to me than going out to a club and drinking a bunch of drinks and chasing some girls, man. That's like, I don't want to do that shit anymore. Like, I don't know. I just had done that stuff for so long. It's just all cheap thrills. And um, the, basically what I'm saying is that the feeling of fulfillment and satisfaction from fulfilling my true purpose and moving forward in my life on all levels and helping other people grow is infinitely more satisfying uh, and gratifying than going out for a cheap thrill for a night or smoking a, a joint or you know hanging out with a, some girl for a night or whatever it is like just these these quick like cheap thrills man that's what we do as human beings we're programmed to like chase these cheap thrills and these small events in life and then we end up uh, so many often never live a true life of fulfillment and happiness because they never took the time to shut out all the distractions and focus on what's important to themselves. And it's a rare minority that does this, and I realize this. Um, and that's why there's such a culture of uh, depression and comparison and keeping up with the Joneses and shit. It's because all these people um, are living these lives that, you know, they've been programmed to live and, and show off and say, look, I'm living this life. Look how cool I am. And other people's that, people that don't live up to the expectations or aren't doing that stuff don't feel like they can keep up or aren't good enough and stuff. But that's not the game, man. The game is finding out what you want to do. The, the game is finding out what fulfills you in your heart and then putting everything that you have into that. You know, a Mark Twain quote that comes up often, I think about two most important days in your life are the days you're born and the day you find out why. And it's kind of cool in the past couple of months, especially. I mean, I guess I knew this before. I've experienced this once before and I got off my path the first time I got into training. But now coming back to it, it's really resonating deep with me and I'm not going to deviate from my path. So I hope this is helpful for you to really hammer home the point that what you want, you can have it. But you've got to be willing to let go of what and who you used to be and hang around and think and believe and eat and live and sleep all these different ways you've got to shift into a new version of yourself in order to get what you want so it's completely possible but you've got to let go of that stuff and i'm here to remind you that that process is uncomfortable it's not comfortable it doesn't feel right it's foreign uh especially at first it's the first time you really tried to grow or improve yourself it's really foreign it's really uncomfortable and i guess that's the cool part for me is that um i'm in a place now where i've done this so many times that when i'm in the place where I don't want to be, where I'm smoking or hanging, you know, going out late night, whatever it is that I'm doing or people I don't want to be around, I'm able to so clearly experience and feel this like contrast that this shit ain't right, man. This shit ain't right for me. This ain't what I want to do. And so the compass that you can use if something is good for you or if it's something you should move on from is very basic. The only question you ever have to ask yourself is, does this feel good? Does this habit make me feel good? Does what I'm reading feel good? Are these people that I'm around and interacting with feel good? Does it make me feel good? Does it make me happy? Does this job make me feel good? Does it make me happy? If the answer is no, you gotta fucking go, man. <laughs> or that person or whatever it is has got to go. Don't be afraid to give it the ax. When you do, man, you have no idea the freedom and the power that lies ahead of you. Um, 
the feeling of fulfillment and happiness and truth because when you begin to follow that voice in your heart and you cast off all the bullshit and really focus on what you truly want dude things start falling into place and although it is a lonely journey because you're in the minority remember that there are other people out there like you and that's part of the fear of unknown and unwillingness to let go of because we're like oh man i'm missing out because you know sally and brad are going out tonight to this club to see this concert or blah 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 or you know having this dinner and blah 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 dude you're not missing out on shit you're not missing out on anything you're putting stuff aside that may no longer be in alignment with who you are and who you want to be and who you're moving into continue along the journey embrace the discomfort and nail in and solidify the new identity and patterns and behaviors and lifestyle that you want because that's what's supporting you towards your goals and that's what's most fulfilling so cut out everything man cut out anything everything and everyone that doesn't serve you and go towards what you want it's infinitely more rewarding and fulfilling if you are on the right path so again i'm here to remind you that you've got to let go of the old to step into the new you and identity of who you want to be in order to get to where you want to be and it's infinitely more fulfilling and powerful and i'm also here to tell you and make you aware of that it's not easy it's not comfortable and also it can be lonely but that you're not alone that's why you're watching this video that's why you're hearing this message today so if you're looking for permission to get started and go off on what you want to do this is your message right here that you've been asking for this is your permission go and do what you want to do and uh honestly forget about what everyone else wants because this is your life and your life alone to live so pursue what you want with uh, no regrets at all I mean, because in the end the only one that's going to look back and say man did i do what i want to do is you and if you look back and say damn i did everything else that i was told to do for everyone else to make everyone else happy the life that i thought i was you know filling uh and damn i didn't get to do anything i really wanted to do so this is a message this is permission Go focus on you, focus on what you want to do, have zero regrets about cutting anyone or anything off that doesn't serve you. Go get what you want because it's your life and your life alone to live and no one's coming to save you, man. You're the one that's got to go and do that. It just requires, and it's possible, it just requires the shifting in things. So hope this video was helpful for you to hear. If it was, uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. My goal is to grow my channel as big as I can. The way we do that is to get it into the YouTube algorithm by pushing all the buttons uh, because the bigger purpose behind that is by growing my YouTube channel I get to share messages like this that hopefully I helped you with uh, that I can help as many people as possible with so thank you again for watching and I appreciate you we'll see you next time peace